it's John Levison for Try 24 7 here at the second day of the TCR show at Sandown Park. Um, I'm joined on my right by uh, Tim Lawson, um, one of the founders um, of Science and Sports, um, probably uh, the best known uh, nutrition uh, brands, uh, certainly in the UK and um, worldwide. Thanks for joining us, Tim. Yeah, good morning. Um, I believe you've got some um, pretty interesting new um, products that you're uh, launching here this week. Um, Tell us a bit about the, the new uh, organic range of um, cysts. Oh, for sure, we've been working for the last five years trying to bring organic equivalents of our Go Electrolyte and PSP22 energy drinks, yeah. um, really to offer more choice for those that, that like the idea of, of organic. And yeah. finally, we, we, we've made it. Yeah. So it must be um, yeah, pretty pleasing uh, to have got to that point, and uh, I guess it's, it's probably not not too many, if any, similar offerings around from, from competitors. No, this is the, the, we believe this is the world's first. It's yeah. certainly the, we're the first sports nutrition company to pass the organic farmers and growers accreditation, so they're very strict accreditation procedures. That maybe wasn't so difficult for us yeah. because we worked to such high levels of accuracy and quality for our ISO accreditation and because of the drug-free that's really important for the elite level competitors that we work with. But the real challenge over the last five years has been sourcing organic ingredients that would meet a specification. Yeah. So rather than quite easy to gather a bunch of organic yeah. ingredients and maybe Pop call it an energy drink. And get it and stick it all together and mix it up. But yeah. your organic or natural isn't necessarily better because yeah. you cannot always end up introducing things like sorbitol or other um, secreted gogs that maybe delay gastric emptying and make them unsuitable for a, a, a performance product. And if you think about if you think about grapes from the same same vine in the same field in different years yeah. can produce either a very good wine or a very bad wine, sure. then we didn't want to be in a situation where people are thinking, oh, I hope it's a good year for energy drink, yeah, sure. when it's your, your event you've trained for for such a long time. Yeah, I guess you guys have put so much work in to have a consistent product over so many years that just having an organic product that then lets that down is not what you want to be doing. Yeah, a science and sport product has to work. It has to work right every time. And so that's been part of the, um, the challenge. And also, it's, it's pushing things forward a little bit, we, we feel, in that it builds on the, the phytonutrients, the plant extracts we were using in a smart one gel that may help with blood flow and help with the energy transfer process. So we've got a series of studies at major universities looking at that now. So um, which of the, of the, the SIS range is the, is the organic um, new product or products a part of? At the moment we've got the, the Go Electrolyte in organic yep. and PSP22 in organic. So the difference between those two, they're both fundamentally energy drinks. Yep. Go has the electrolytes or salts in, so when your fluid requirements are the main concern, then Go Electrolyte's the, the one to turn to. Yep. If you want more energy per mouthful, so you're going out on a long ride and you can only take a couple of bottles, temperature's not so 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 hot, yep. then you can run the, the PSP22 at higher temperatures, cover your energy needs, and sort out your hydration when necessary. Uh, I know you guys have worked uh, over many years with a lot of um, top athletes in lots of different sports, and I believe you've yeah, got a lot of success out in the Olympics with various teams, GB and otherwise, using your products. Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, who can forget the, the phenomenal success of British cycling? And we've worked with British Cycling for many, many years. And from a, a sports nutrition company, that's a fantastic model to work with. Because you've got guys like Jamie Staff, who has to start from a standing start, up to 40 miles an hour, faster in maybe 10 seconds. If he takes longer than 16 seconds for his effort, then he's taking too long. So we've got that whole power, all speed, all, all, all kind of strength. Those guys spend a lot of time in the gym. Increasingly, we've got the other extreme where we've got the, the pursuiters, that are using the three-week stage races, the Tour de France and the Giro, for, for preparation for, the, for those races. And, and guys like um, Cavendish that's dropped out of the, the plan that are, are working, that, that's their major target now, a three-week three -week stage race. So, yeah. so, so I guess for them, recovery, not just within the 10 or 15 seconds, but day on day on day on day to keep doing it is, 
is the real key thing. I think that's the, the thing. I mean, when we were developing the protein kinetic system with the, the sprinters, a lot of the, the guys said, well, yeah, we believe in these products, but you need to make them taste better yeah. because we have to take these day, you know, maybe five, six times a day, not just one or two days, not just one or two weeks, but months, months and years and years. So we, we had a major project there with guys going backwards and forwards to Manchester trying to make sure that we we met their expectations in terms of taste. So you've got to get the product right and you've got to get the taste right. Um, what people don't realise who we work with is people like the sailors. So British yeah. Sailing were, again, phenomenally successful in Beijing and we did a, um, but a few different different angles for them. It, usually the angle for sports like triathlon and cycling is how can we get as much energy in these guys as possible so they can cover their, their training um, needs for, for the sailors. The, the, sometimes the problem was the opposite way. How can we keep these guys and the girls especially alert and ready but not putting weight on if they're out on the water for five hours a day for five days waiting for a 40 minute race. So we did, we did some um, interesting little variants for those guys that we hopefully will roll out. And one of the great things for, for us is working with these other sports. And sometimes you pick an idea up or they've got a challenge and then you start to think, well, could we apply that to a different challenge in, say, triathlon? How would that work, say, if you've got um, you've got guys going to a really hot, humid environment? Yeah, got they're, different hydration requirements. Yeah, they, they yeah, they may be just dehydrating, sat around the venue. Yeah. So maybe we, we could use that. So the, some interesting products are on the way, yeah. I think. Um, so looking at, at triathlon specifically, um, you know, a, lot, a lot of triathletes will train quite often, um, swimming, biking, running. Um, is, is there any sort of general tips um, that you could give sort of in relation to the CIS products and, and, and what would be appropriate for triathletes you know, and what they should use across the sports? You, you know, you know, sometimes one of the things that, that can be a little bit frustrating for us here is that probably the easiest thing for us to sell, if you will, is probably the, the Smart One Gel because you've got the, the, the energy kick of, of, of the Go, Go Gel with the caffeine, so you take it and you feel it straight away. Yeah. Where I, I feel probably one of our, our probably the best product we make is the Nocti, the nighttime protein drink. For some, especially for something like, like triathlon, so you probably, you've worked quite hard into the late in the day, and then you've probably got a swimming session the next morning. The, the research that we've got with the, the Nocti, when people take that last thing at night, they seem to be waking up with less muscle soreness and, and less less fatigue. And the way that the, the guys ride in the three-week stage races really love that product. I'm sure that's got a lot of application for, for, for triathlon. Yeah, because it's a similar thing with the train quite hard over fairly long distances and then the next day do it again and do it well, again. Triathletes are doing like, like a, it's almost yeah. like a Tour de France stage race every day for the guys that are training for Ironman. If you try and yeah. do the you know, 100 mile plus bike ride and you're spitting, swimming and running. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty tough. Uh, well, that's, that's great Tim, thanks for your time. Some, some great tips there. Um, if you're uh, interested in the new um, CIS uh, organic products, if you look on the CIS website or uh, any of the retailers selling the CIS products, you'll be able to buy it in the shop soon. Yeah.